This is SAT practice test 8, non-calculator, as they often do. College Board is asking about the equation of a circle. They give you the equation of a circle and say that point P is on the circle with coordinates 10 and negative 5. PQ is a diameter of the circle. What are the coordinates of point Q, the other end of that diameter? I like to remind myself that the center has x, y coordinates equal to h, k. That's standard symbol for the center and radius equal to r, and our general equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, which tells us that since r squared equals 16, r equals 4. We also have h, k because x minus 6 equals x minus h, so h, the x coordinate, is 6, and y plus 5 equals y minus k, so, this has to be y minus negative 5, k is negative 5. The center of the circle is at x, y equals 6, negative 5. To find the other end of the diameter, I like to draw the picture. I'm better at drawing a circle if I draw the circle first and then put in my axes. My center is at 6, negative 5. And since the radius is 4, the y-axis is to the left of the circle, and the x-axis, since the radius is 4, will be above the circle. And I have point P has the same y-coordinate as the center, but it's to the right where the x-coordinate is 10. And the question is, if PQ is a diameter of the circle, what are the coordinates of Q? Well, if I draw the diameter, I see it's horizontally to the left, same Y value though. So point Q out here has a Y coordinate of negative 5. And the X coordinate, X goes down 4 from 10 to 6, that's one radius. It goes down another radius from 6 to positive 2. So the center is at 2, negative 5. In general, I'm a fan of testmanship. It's always worth looking at that. And you'll notice the negative 5 for y occurs twice. Interestingly, the 6 for x can, occurs three times, and that's the wrong answer. So don't always trust testmanship. Always do the math, and testmanship is a last resort if you're pressured for time or don't know what to do. But once again, the standard equation x minus a squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared for center hk and radius r helps you to answer this question. Come back soon for more SAT math.